So I've installed North Korea's Red Star OS. Now, the only problem is that it's all in Korean and I don't understand Korean, so I wanna change this to English. I'm surprised that there is a way to do this. Since this is a Linux distribution, it does have a root user, although it's not enabled by default. We have to enable the root user first. So to do this, I'm gonna go down to the icon down here for the applications and I'll click the folder without any icon on it. You can see there's another folder here, but we're gonna click the one without the icon. And then we'll click the folder with the wrench icons inside of that. And you can see we have a terminal here. So I'll open the terminal. I'll just close this. And I'm just going to run this command here, root setting, and I'll hit enter. And it opens this little program here. Now, what I'll do is I'll click the padlock in the corner there. And it's going to ask me for my password. I'll just type that in. And once I have that typed in, I'll just click this button here to confirm. And now on this screen, you wanna check this box here and it's going to prompt you to make a root password. So I'm just going to set the root password here and I'll come back in a second. So I've typed the same password in both boxes. I'll just click confirm here. And now the root user on this Linux distro should now be enabled. I'm actually surprised that they include a way to do this out of the box, but anyways, I'll just close this and I'll just run sue to log in as root. I'll just type in my password here and hit enter. All right, and now I'm logged in as root on Red Star OS. So finally, to change this to English, we need to replace the Korean language pack with the English language pack. So to do that, I'm going to type this command here and I'll hit enter. And then I'll just type reboot and I'll hit enter. And this will take a second to reboot, but once it's back, we should have Red Star OS in English. And now that I've rebooted, we can see that the login screen is in English. I'll just click login. And we can see that the menus and everything are in English, and they even ripped off Finder for macOS and called it KFinder. The interesting thing is that this custom desktop environment that looks like macOS is KDE based for those of you who are familiar with Linux. So it's a heavily modified version of KDE. They ripped off a lot of KDE names too, just by slapping K in the front of them. So yeah, now that this is in English and I can understand what's going on, I can play around with it some more. If there's anything you wanna see me do with this operating system, let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe for more.